we can't just like hope that the world will be renewed. We have to actually redeem the world that we have. And you know, with all of the betrayal and all of, all of the disappointment, this is what is right now, but reality isn't finished. We can't just wipe it away and start anew. The first step in getting there and how to get there is to realize that we do not know how to get there. Our maps are are all based on the the possibility and the causality that we have received from the old story. And when we look at those honestly, we realize that it's actually impossible. Uh, and and despair is a, a frequent visitor in anybody who's on this path of trying to save the world. The first step is to understand and to feel and know that a more beautiful world is, is possible. And how do you know that? It's because you've seen it. You've seen a glimpse of it. Same thing with another person. How do you know that they can heal and that they can transform? Because you can see the healed and transformed being there alongside all of the stuff of where they're at, where they are already. Like that's not actually them. So, so this, this, yeah, I'm not going to meet people where they're, where they're at. I'm going to invite them into where I'm at. Like that actually depends. That cannot be this, this, well, I'm better than you and where I'm at is better than where you're at. It can't be patronizing. It has to include like really seeing that person as a brother or as a sister, like, and, and, and seeing not as an ideology, oh, we're all children of God, but actually seeing their divinity and their healed aspect. And, and then you can speak to that. But you can see, you can speak to, and you can speak from. And, and your words have power because they are from firsthand experience.